How is mineral formed? Minerals are naturally occurring, inorganic substances with a specific chemical composition and a crystalline structure. Their formation involves various geological processes that occur over different timescales, from millions of years to just a few years. Here are the main processes through which minerals form. 1. Crystallization from magma. When magma, which is molten rock beneath the Earth's surface, cools and solidifies, minerals begin to crystallize. As the temperature of the magma decreases, different minerals crystallize at different temperatures. For example, minerals like olivine and pyroxene form at high temperatures, while quartz and feldspar crystallize at lower temperatures. This process can occur both beneath the Earth's surface, intrusive igneous rocks, and on the surface, extrusive igneous rocks. 2. Precipitation from solutions. Minerals can form through the precipitation process when water containing dissolved minerals evaporates or changes temperature and pressure conditions. This can occur in various environments. Hydrothermal solutions, these are hot, mineral-rich fluids that move through cracks and fissures in the Earth's crust. When these fluids cool or react with surrounding rocks, minerals precipitate and form veins. Evaporites, in arid environments, bodies of water like lakes or seas can evaporate, leaving behind mineral deposits such as halite, rock salt, gypsum, and other salts. 3. Metamorphism. Existing minerals can change into new minerals through metamorphism, which involves exposure to high pressures, high temperatures, and chemically active fluids. This process alters the mineral structure and composition without melting the rock. For example, the mineral garnet can form from pre-existing minerals like mica and chlorite in metamorphic rocks. 4. Biogenic processes. Some minerals form through biological processes. Organisms such as corals, mollusks, and some algae extract ions from water to create shells and skeletons composed of minerals like calcite and aragonite. Over time, these biological materials can accumulate and form significant mineral deposits. 5. Weathering and sedimentation. Weathering processes break down existing rocks into smaller particles and dissolve minerals, which can be transported by water and wind. These particles can accumulate in sediments and eventually lithify into sedimentary rocks. New minerals can form during this process, such as clays from the weathering of feldspars. Detailed examples Granite formation Granite is an intrusive igneous rock that forms from the slow cooling of magma deep within the earth. It typically contains minerals like quartz, feldspar, and mica. As the magma cools, these minerals crystallize at different stages, contributing to the coarse grain texture of granite. Salt deposits, large salt deposits, known as evaporites, form in areas where bodies of water evaporate rapidly. As the water evaporates, minerals like halite, NaCl, and gypsum, CaSO4, 2H2O, precipitate out and accumulate in thick layers. The Bonneville Salt Flats in Utah are an example of such a deposit. Metamorphic rocks, the transformation of shale into slate, and eventually into schist and gneiss, involves the formation of new minerals like garnet and storolite as a result of increased temperature and pressure during regional metamorphism. Conclusion Minerals are formed through a variety of natural processes that involve the crystallization of magma, precipitation from solutions, metamorphism, biological activity, and weathering. Each of these processes occurs under specific conditions of temperature, pressure, and chemical environment, which influence the types of minerals that form and their characteristics. The study of these processes provides valuable insights into the Earth's geological history and the dynamic processes shaping our planet. Mineral Formation Environments Mineral formation environments are diverse and can be categorized based on the specific geological processes and conditions under which they form. These environments include igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic settings, as well as unique hydrothermal and biogenic environments. Each environment provides distinct conditions that influence the formation and characteristics of the minerals produced. 
Here is an in-depth exploration of the primary mineral formation environments. 1. Igneous Environments Igneous environments involve the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. Minerals formed in these settings crystallize from molten rock and are categorized into two types based on their formation location. A. Intrusive, Plutonic, Environments Formation Intrusive environments are found beneath the Earth's surface where magma cools slowly. Characteristics Slow cooling allows large, well-formed crystals to grow. Common minerals include quartz, feldspar, mica, and amphibole. Examples, granite, diorite, and gabbro are typical intrusive igneous rocks. The large crystal sizes in these rocks are due to the prolonged cooling period within the Earth's crust. B. Extrusive, volcanic, environments. Formation, extrusive environments occur on the Earth's surface where lava cools rapidly. Characteristics, Rapid cooling results in fine-grained or glassy textures with smaller crystals. Minerals include olivine, pyroxene, and plagioclase. Examples, basalt and rhyolite are common extrusive rocks. The rapid cooling at the surface often leads to the formation of volcanic glass, obsidian, and tiny crystals. 2. Sedimentary Environments Sedimentary environments are characterized by the accumulation and lithification of sediment. Minerals in these settings form through precipitation from solution, biological activity, or the breakdown and redeposition of pre-existing minerals. A. Clastic sedimentary environments. Formation. Clastic environments involve the physical and chemical breakdown of rocks into smaller particles that are transported and deposited by water, wind, or ice. Characteristics, minerals include quartz, feldspar, and clay minerals, which form sedimentary rocks like sandstone, shale, and conglomerate. Examples, sandstones are common in beach and river environments, while shales form in quiet water settings like lakes and deep ocean floors. B. Chemical sedimentary environments. Formation, chemical environments involve the precipitation of minerals from solution, typically in evaporative settings. Characteristics, minerals like halite, gypsum, and calcite form through the evaporation of water bodies. Examples, salt flats and evaporite deposits, such as those found in the Bonneville Salt Flats or the Dead Sea, are prime examples. C. Biogenic sedimentary environments. Formation, Biogenic environments result from the accumulation of biological materials, such as shells and skeletons. Characteristics, minerals like calcite and aragonite are common, forming limestones and other biogenic rocks. Examples, coral reefs and chalk deposits are examples where biogenic processes dominate. 3. Metamorphic environments Metamorphic environments are defined by the transformation of pre-existing rocks under conditions of high pressure, high temperature, and chemically active fluids. This results in the formation of new minerals and rock types without the rock melting. A. Regional metamorphic environments. Formation, occur over large areas due to tectonic forces, typically during mountain building. Characteristics, common minerals include garnet, storolite, kyanite, and silimonite, which form in foliated rocks like schist and gneiss. Examples, the Appalachian Mountains and the Himalayas contain extensive regions of regionally metamorphosed rocks. B. Contact metamorphic environments. Formation, occur when rocks are heated by nearby magma or lava. Characteristics, minerals like andalusite, hornfels, and scarn minerals form in a non-foliated texture. Examples, contact metamorphism around igneous intrusions, such as those found in the metamorphic aureoles surrounding plutons. 4. Hydrothermal environments. Hydrothermal environments involve the interaction of mineral-rich hot water with surrounding rocks. These settings are significant for the formation of many economically important mineral deposits. A. Hydrothermal veins. Formation. Formed by the precipitation of minerals from hot, aqueous solutions moving through cracks and fissures. Characteristics, minerals such as quartz, 
calcite, and various metal ores like gold, silver, and sulfides. Examples, the famous gold deposits in the Witwatersrand Basin and the silver veins of the Comstock Lode. B. Hydrothermal vents. Formation, found on the ocean floor at divergent plate boundaries where seawater interacts with hot magma. Characteristics, minerals like sulfides of iron, copper, and zinc precipitate rapidly from the hot water. Examples, black smoker vents on mid-ocean ridges, which are rich in sulfide minerals. 5. Biogenic environments. Biogenic environments involve the direct or indirect influence of biological activity in the formation of minerals. These processes often occur in both terrestrial and marine settings. A. Marine biogenic environments. Formation, marine organisms extract ions from seawater to form shells and skeletons. Characteristics, minerals such as aragonite and calcite form in structures like coral reefs and shell beds. Examples, coral reefs in tropical oceans and the extensive chalk deposits of the Cretaceous period. B. Terrestrial biogenic environments. Formation, terrestrial organisms contribute to mineral formation through processes like soil formation and peat bog development. Characteristics, minerals like calcite in soils, caliche, and iron oxides in bogs. Examples, Bog iron deposits formed in peat bogs and caliche deposits in arid regions. Conclusion Mineral formation environments are varied and complex, each providing unique conditions that foster the development of specific minerals. Understanding these environments is crucial for geologists and mineralogists as they seek to uncover the Earth's history, locate valuable mineral resources, and study the dynamic processes that shape our planet. The interplay of temperature, pressure, chemical composition, and biological activity in these environments illustrates the intricate and interconnected nature of Earth's geological systems.